Hi there! In this tutorial, we'll explore how to apply texture to text in Photoshop. If you love text effects, check out Envato Elements. There are so many Photoshop effects, add-ons, and more you can download right now. They're easy to customize, and with unlimited downloads, you can try them all for one low price. Check out the description for more information. Now let's begin. Start in a new document and use the Type tool to add some text to your document. I'm going to use the word Welcome. Let's try out the font Somalia. Once you're happy with your text, you can start adding texture. I'm going to use a watercolor texture. All we need to do is open up the texture image in Photoshop, then go to Select All. When the image is selected, go to Edit, Copy. Next, we can return to our original document. In this document, go to Edit, Paste. You'll notice that Photoshop has pasted our texture image on top of our text. Let's take a look at our Layers panel. Here we see our texture image layer on top of our text layer. Now let's select the texture layer. Then right click on PC or Control click on Mac and select Clipping Mask. Here's what our result looks like. This texture is confined to the space occupied by the text. We can use the Move tool to reposition the texture within this space. Notice how it doesn't go outside of the text. We can use other effects here too. Let's start by duplicating our texture layer. Select the layer, and then right click, and select Duplicate Layer. Click OK, and now we have our copy. Let's change the blending mode on this layer to add light. Then, we use the Move tool to reposition it. Notice how it's affecting the texture layer beneath it. We can also use layer styles to add even more to our font texture. You can find the layer styles down here at the bottom of your layers panel. We'll test out the color overlay. Here's what the layer style panel looks like. Let's set a color to purple. I use a hex code of 9019C8, then set the opacity to around 28%. There are a lot of other styles you could experiment with, so give them a try. Once you're happy with your options, click OK to apply them. To finish things up, let's add a paper texture to the background. Just like we did before, all we need to do is open our image, select it, copy it, then paste into our new document. Lower the opacity to 38%. Let's repeat this process with the watercolor texture we used earlier on our text. Simply paste it into your document. Let's set the blending mode on this layer to soft light. Use the move tool as needed to adjust the position of your layers. Finally, let's add a watercolor brush stroke behind our text to give it some contrast. Again, we can repeat the process of opening the image, selecting it, copying it, and pasting it into our document. Here's what it looks like. Let's change this layer's blended mode to overlay so it really stands out against the background. Position it so it's behind your type. There is plenty more you could do and add here. In fact, you can get really complex with layer styles and blended modes. However, we can also experiment with effects like this, layer styles, and more using a template. Let's take a look at that too. Here's a template that mimics a watercolor look. This layer right here contains a smart object. In order to change the text, all we have to do is click the layer's thumbnail to go inside the smart object. Here, inside the smart object, I'll change the text. Change what it says, change the font, and move it any way you like. Once you're happy with your results, save this document. This will update how it looks in the template document. Now let's go back to the template document. Notice how the text has been updated with all the text effects applied. We can toggle the visibility on any extra layers we don't want visible right now. You can also use the Move tool to reposition any content you would like. And there you have it, two different ways you can apply texture to text in Photoshop. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching!